Guidance. Trust. Experience. International Precious Metals is proud to introduce the Honorable Edmund C. Moy. As Mint Director, I'm often asked, what is my favorite coin? And quite simply, it's the St. Gaudens Double Eagle that came out in 1907. There are many reasons for that. The first one was it was part of a whole redesign effort to make uh, coins look more American. You know, Teddy Roosevelt was a closet uh, numismatist, and he was uh, not happy when he became president. He believed all the coins made us look like a European country because it had the face of a leader and it had symbols of their power on the back. So he wanted coins that really spoke of American values and he collaborated with the famous artist of the time, Augustus St. Gaudens, to come up with the double eagle. When he came up with it, it was simply a masterpiece. And here are many reasons why it communicated America's values. So uh, Roosevelt's theory was coins were an extension of a country's identity. So what are um, what was the country's identity as St. Gaudens was expressing it? First of all, instead of having a side portrait of a, of a living leader, you have the symbol of liberty. And instead of her side portrait, you see a full-figured liberty. This is the first time this has ever been done on a coin. Second, she is uh, carrying a torch and an olive branch, uh, a torch in front and an olive branch in the back. And the symbolism behind that was uh, for Christians back at that time, they would have viewed the torch as a, a symbol of God. And if you uh, weren't a Christian, you would view the torch as enlightenment. And the olive branch certainly meant peace. So what the symbolism here is, where God or enlightenment leads liberty, then peace will come. And when you take a look at liberty, she's wearing a, a gown that was uh, inspired by Greek, uh, by Greek and Roman gowns. And uh, St. Gaudens was saying that the roots of liberty as a concept are in Western civilization. Further, you'll see in the background right here, the United States Capitol. What uh, St. Gaudens was saying is liberty has visited the United States with its highest symbolism being the democracy represented by the US Capitol. And now she's powerfully marching into the rest of the world including the viewer of the coin. He also designed it so that uh, she is marching powerfully. She's rising up a hill. Her gown is, uh, is uh, very close to her figure because she's marching so forcefully. But he also made this in high relief so that she as a sculpture has popped out of the coin. And that's how powerful liberty is marching into the rest of the world. The back of the coin is just as uh, a big of a story because it looks, um, this is a young American eagle of which its uh, white crown hasn't been developed yet and it's flying over a sunrise of which the symbolism of the coin is America is a very young country at the very beginning of its day because this is the sunrise. Probably the thing that I get most uh, recognition from is uh, coming out with the ultra high relief in 2009. And that was because, um, A, that is uh, a beautiful, you know, it's widely acknowledged as uh, one of the most beautiful coins uh, ever made. Uh, and uh, it's everything that I think an American coin ought to be. Uh, it's something that wasn't on anybody's radar when I got to the Mint. So it was a solely Ed Moy willed this into uh, being kind of thing. Um, and uh, it's a lot collectors like me who couldn't afford a, um, a high relief 2007 uh, double eagle, uh, I can afford a UHR. As a matter of fact, the UHR is probably uh, better made than the 2007 uh, double eagle. And so I, I just get so much positive feedback from, um, from that coin. So with that, it tells the story of America and what she believed in. And so I think it is a very fitting coin uh, for people to be interested in, because not only is it beautiful, but uh, for those who love America and our patriots, uh, this is uh, represents everything that we believe in.